start uh, today's session. Friends, as I already told you, okay, Power Query is Power Query introduced in 2010 version. But if you want to get the Power Query in 2010 uh, or 2013, we should get as a add on. We should download the add on. From Microsoft website from 2016 or office 2019 from 2016 or office 365 power query is part of your Excel okay so why the power query is most important power query is also the backend ETL tool, backend tool for visualization tool that is Power BI. I am I'm sure you heard about the word Power BI. Power BI is like a tableau. Uh, it, it is exactly like ClickSense. So it can do the analysis at the backend. That is what. Uh, the power bi does in a visual presentation so power query is the etl tool what do you mean by etl e means extract t means transform sorry l means load okay what this tool does, this can extract the data from n number of sources and it transforms the data based on whatever the functions and features we use and it can load back the data to our Excel. That means this is for example, uh, extract and this is transform and this is for example load so the first activity what it is doing it is extracting the data data extraction can happen for n number of things that includes uh, that includes uh, our just give me one sec okay So this is what the first activity it is doing. You must understand extract can happen from any of the sources. As of now, whoever using 2016 version or 2019 version or Office 365, this is the part I'm talking about. Okay. In 2016 or Office 365 or 2019 version, Power Query is replaced with name replaced with the name get and transform okay which is under data tab so this is what the piece we call when i ask excel to take the data it can take the data from workbook from text file from xml from json even you can get the data from the folder it can even take data from sql server it can take from access database analysis server and anything relating to sql and it can even take the azure of microsoft it can even take data from facebook it can even take the data from range web Microsoft query or ODBC. Okay, lot of things are there. And uh, if you are upgrading into the next level of uh, uh, Office 365, and uh, if SAP got connected, you can even take the data from SAP, you can even take data from Oracle and different data sources. Okay, now we'll take small, small examples and we'll start working. How Power Query is different? 
from Excel. Excel uses normal formulas, whereas Power Query uses, we call that as a M formulas, okay? M is a mashup, okay? M means mashup. So this is a language, new language introduced by Microsoft. Whoever would like to use the Power Query at the back end, they have to write the uh, formula in the M language. This is entirely different uh, and thou hun hundreds of uh, different functions are there at the back end uh, which can write the formula. Now we will take a small example and we'll try to understand what exactly the Power Query does. For example, I have the first name and I have the last name. And I have a, I need to join these two together every time. Now first name is Saran, last name is Kumar, and maybe first name is um, uh, Harsha, second name is Vardhan, and uh, first name is Maruti, second name is Gandhi. You can write a number of things like that. Raja, this is Babu, and so on. Now what I want, I want these two has to be joined together, right? If I want, I have to join together, I can use concatenate function or else I can use under symbol, I can do n number of things, whatever I want. Instead, what I can do, I can take this into the table format, just go here and format as a table, just click this, Excel is asking, Sharon, do your table need to have the headers? I said, yes. Now go to the data. Now what I'll do, I'll, I will use the data from table or range. Let me click this. Okay, so what happens? This is what the source to my Power Query now. This entire data will be loaded at the back end and it will open you one uh, pop-up names Power Query editor. This is the new thing which you can find if you are using Power Query. So this Power Query editor transformation can happen. The best part of the Power Query editor it applied all the steps what you are doing, okay? See, source is there, then change type is there. So as of now, it applied two steps. One is it has taken the source. Second one is it has changed the type. It has given for this text and this also for text. And these all are many transformation things which this is having. You can split the columns or else you can group the columns or else you can join the columns, you can replace. You can promote something as a header. There are n number of things in that. You go to the transform. You can group by this is equal to our semi function. If you want to, uh, let's say header, it has not identified automatically. How you are going to make header as the first row? Then you can transform, transpose the data. You can reverse the rows. You can count how many rows are there. N number of things are there. You can fill the data either down, up. So since we are not covering everything here so i request everyone to once you have a chance just go to each and every aspect here and start understanding but don't worry as much as possible we'll cover in today's topic now friends what i need to have here i want to join the data together so select these two this column and this column right click and you must find are you finding the option merge columns once you click this the advantage of the power query most of the things you can handle by using right click or left click or maybe uh, going into the ribbon menu and one more limitation of the power query is you cannot use the shortcuts and the power query is a case sensitive right now let me click merge columns once i ask merge column columns excel is asking sharon you want me to merge by keeping what as a special symbol i want to keep iPhone, let me put custom and I want to put iPhone for every item when it is trying to merge between every word and this is nothing but my full name. I'm just trying to merge these two instead of writing the formula. I asked Excel to okay take uh, merge the columns feature once I click and you're finding okay one more column names Saran Kumar. Now what I want I'll simply go to the home tab and I can 
there are many options here close and load close and load to let me explain you once i click close and load to what will happen but friends here just for your quick observation merge the columns is there right and uh, this is what the step it has created first step is i got the data once you click it data will appear second step is it has identified what is the text values by default if you don't like this you can remove this then third step is it has joined uh, columns together it merged the columns together but i realized that i did a mistake here because i need to put a space instead of iphone then what i can simply do you just delete this step so that earlier step is readily there now let me select these two columns right click now i am merging the columns let me put custom as a yeah let me put the space as a delimiter now this name is full name now once i click okay again this step will apply this is what the new step if you want to see entirely what excel did now you can simply go to okay view and are you finding advanced editor this is the program it has written for all these three steps very simple program this program we call it as a m language it the m in m language you can find all let statements you can get the source from this workbook table current excel dot current workbook name table and you can change the type table dot transformation this is what it has taken and it this is what the formula to merge the columns together okay no problem now what i'll do i will go to the home tab i will close and load two let me explain you how many features we have load two is basically sharon do you want to get the data entirely into your excel as a table okay this is not preferable every time because if i am getting the data from the server if my server is having more than 1 million records there is no meaning of getting the data into my excel because one sheet cannot fit more than 1 million and also excel is capable of analysis than getting the data inside why i need to get get data every time into my uh, excel i can still connect as a uh, connection and i can start analyzing the data this is what pivot table report directly it will open the pivot table uh, report and we can work on the pivot table this is what a pivot table chart this is what only create as a connection i don't want to do anything i want to just add into the data model next time whenever it is required i'll use it in our case let us take the table because the data is very small and i want to get my final result maybe from here right once i click okay once i click okay see it is just getting the data and you got your entire data automatically now friends this is what the queries and connections pane you can find all the queries here right you can just rename the query you can edit it you can do whatever you want this is what the query speed now the advantage of this is if i write like one more name nagesh okay kumar now if i just refresh my queries the same name will appear okay for example if i put one more thing instead of harsha now let me put let's say uh uh morally krishna now what i can simply do i can simply refresh this data automatically that will be replaced with that okay i have taken a situation where small data is there if data is huge then you can understand instead of writing a formula this is just the steps which is happening now let me explain you the meaning of etl it is extracting this data and it is doing the transformation in the power query at the back end and it is loading the data back into my excel now what i want to do let me go here let me go to the edit once you click edit it takes you to the power query again now this name of the this is what the query name let me put okay merge columns this is what my name and i need to add one more step to that i want to sort this data maybe uh, a to z see check it out when i put the data a to z automatically it has done this now i'll go and i'll cl close and load check it out the data replaced now just check it out arun okay varma now when i refresh this data 
it include all the steps it automatically sort the data okay so if it is one thing you can do it if it is n number of things as a person as a user i cannot write the formulas or maybe i cannot use the features again and again but this is the one which stores your all the steps whenever you ask excel to refresh it does automatically for example this is instead of saran now let me put the name of uh, let's say ravi shankar once i refresh done check it out it automatically taken care where it has to keep okay that is what the concepts of the etl okay Just try to understand the concept i want you to seriously work on it with your regular data because this is such a beautiful thing uh, once i record the steps it happens automatically tomorrow you will get to know the meaning of power query in the next sorry uh, macros in the next session but uh, this is same like a macro but macro is little complex where you need to write so many things but power query if you understand how to transform your data it can does the job automatically now other way around we'll go now what i'll do i'll just copy this data i'll pay special as a values now what i'll do i'll just put this into the table i'll just go here i'll just confirm as a table and it's asking whether it's having a header yes now this is what it is now this data by using the power query i want to split it right what i can do let's go to data now let's go to get data from other sources from table now this is what my data this what the source now let me put the table 3 as this is a, a split columns okay now so let me select this are you finding your yes delimiter yes there is a delimiter or number of characters or positions or lower case to upper case upper case to lower case digit to non digit and so on in my case delimiter because i am using this is like text to column space by default it recognized again it is having so many options do you want me to take left most delimiter sharan or right most or each occurrence i want to take each occurrence okay this is again another different option how many times it has to repeat every time and so on advanced feature now if i click okay it splits right so when it splits now what i want i want to rename this as first name and i want to put this as last name and i want to keep this as a last name and this is the first name then what i want let me select these two i want to put okay let me select these two i want to put everything into the upper case now what i can do i can change the okay let me select this now are you finding uh by lower case to upper case oh i'm sorry this step is not required and i want to convert everything into upper case to lower case i think i can simply select it and change type no i want to just give me one sec yeah upper case right now after transform into upper case now based on my last name this time z to a i am just sorting the data okay i just sorted now i'll just simply go here and i can load two but let us have how many steps it has recorded first this is what the source i had based on my data it has identified what is the whether it's a text or number or binary and so on then it has split the data then it has changed the type again then i have renamed the columns then i reordered the columns then i have changed the upper case then i sorted the columns if for example if you think this source is not correct then you can simply go to uh, go to the view here then go to the advanced data then you can change this source let statement instead of table 3 if you want to change whatever the table name you can change it automatically right now when you think okay this is what the step where i went wrong in let's say instead of 
uh, space you have did something wrong are you finding here there is a small icon once you click it it will take you to the same step you can change it all other steps will change automatically now let me go to home close and load two now i want to get this data as a table now let me put this data into the existing data here once i click ok it run all the steps okay just take it out now for example if i do something here automatically it will change let's put rg verma okay now if i go and refresh my data this taken automatically and it has not just taken automatically it has ex extract it has split the data into two columns then uh, Varma is the first name, RG is the, sorry, Varma is the last name, RG is the first name and it has given in a, okay, uh, jet to a sorting format, uh, then it converted everything into uppercase. That is what the beauty of this feature. Or else let me take uh, Saran Kumar now. Now refresh, see somewhere you'll find here because Kumar Saran. Okay, I hope you got exactly the point what I'm trying to do here, right? power query cases now let us go one after other slowly okay we'll couple of bigger examples now let me save this file yeah anyway it has saved now what i can do we can you can take any data now you can transform excel does everything automatically now friends excel is capable of not just transforming the data it can combine the data combine data means let's say okay i have uh, the sales data which is coming from the server every month and i have to this combine this entire data and i should analyze into my pivot table okay so combining is possible in excel so it's basically appending the data okay the data one below other okay then there is possibility of join data okay it's it's like merge the data that you can concept as a join the queries okay join means it is exactly like our vlookup function okay but there are so many things here we'll cover one after other now what we'll do i'll take a small uh, folder here so that we can understand from where it is taking so uh sales data for power query friends i'm just trying to take small excel file let's go here this sales is for example april 2019 once i click ok <clears throat> now what i want to do i'm just trying to take a small data set very quickly let's take the company let's take the area let us take date let us take amount very quickly i'll take facebook whatsapp then instagram twitter ibm okay twitter then linkedin then tiktok then finally telegram okay that's all now let me just drag this data and make it down let it be very much bigger let it be thousands or just for the identification let me take till 1001 because okay thousand records are there if you remove the header east west south north so let me just select this and double click this Now let's take equal to rand between date 2010, 1-1, date 2018, 12, 31st. Or else there's no meaning because I'm saying 2009, 4-1, first month of April, date 2019, then 4-30 because it belongs to only one month. Friends, no problem. This data we can replace for next time. We can just copy paste.
So this one, I should change it into the format of date. This is what my data is, okay? So now let me, oh sorry, I've taken into the percentage wrongly. This must be, this must be short date, okay? Now, just for the identification, I'm keeping the financial year. Now this is 1819, sorry, 1920. Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. Now let me put the month, April, sorry. Copy and paste, okay? So this is what my data is. Now let me save the data and let me just close it. Save and close. Now I've taken one more data. Let me paste here. This is May 19. Okay, I'll not change anything. I'll just change the month name there. This is the month name May. And this is what, and I will be using a land between date of 2019, 5-1, comma, date of 2000. 19 531 then copy paste special values then this is because i wanted different values for this copy paste special values right now let me save and close now what i will be doing i want to join these two together into my excel now let me put one more excel here combine or else all sales all sales in the sense start from april may and all the months now what i'll be doing i'll simply go to the data i can go to get and transform and this time i want excel to recognize the folder right and you must be very careful in the folder whatever the file which you are writing that is also there so let us go to the data in the batch number nine in that sales data from power query select this folder let me click okay let me click okay now what it does try to understand it is having okay okay three data actually this is an indication that okay this is actually you have opened now what i'll be doing I just click the you cannot combine right now because I can simply do this but the problem is even this file is there wherever I am writing the formula so what I'll do just for the time being without having confusion I'll just close this file for the time being I'll keep this all sales data outside so that you will not get confused if any excess data is there how we are going to make it we'll see the okay next example now let me open this all sales data now i'll go to the data i'll go to get and transform i'll go to from the file i can get the data from folder now let me browse this data from uh let's go to this and that let's go to this in that let's go to this in that this is the one sales data for power query now let me click it now let me click it okay what it is doing it is actually just asking me to combine this data directly because it understood sharon do you want to combine and transform that means where it will take me power query do you want to just combine and load that means the entire data will appear do you want me to combine and load to where you want to paste this data I want to combine and transform data so that I can see in Power Query. Okay. Now, just for the example, Excel is suggesting me, Sharon, you please check it out one data, how it is looking like, no problem. Now, let me click OK. Now at the back end, it is trying to evaluate the query.
see one when you ask excel to get the data from the folder it has applied these many steps including the function friends this is a list this is a parameter this is an indication of the table this icon is an indication of the table and it has applied these many steps it has taken from the source then it has filtered the header files then it has invoked the uh, file and so on then it has renamed lot of things happened lot of things happened right now what i'll do this now let's go to the last step now it has taken everything do you want the file name this is a file name it has given i don't want let me right click and remove no problem then what i'm going to do okay remaining everything let me keep it as it is i'll just close and load it too now i want to make a pivot table on this data okay can i do that yes once i click the pivot table and click okay now this entire data will be loaded at the back end can you tell me how many records it's going to load here it's going to load 2000 records because from two queries two uh, tables now what i'll be doing this is a power query this is a pivot table normal like normal pivot table now i want to play with this data now let me take uh, my financial year somewhere in the row label now let me take my month in the column label now let me take my amount if where is the amount column yeah amount in the value label now let me just put in the comma format right now i want to take area wise right now let me change this into the tabular format till here if anyone having any question please let me know try to understand it is taking the data now it's having april may right for 1920 for each month what is the april total may total and so on now it is it is taking the data from the folder and it is transforming all the steps at the back end and it is uh, getting into my pivot my pivot table now what i do i'll just go back to the same folder let's say like every month one more data got updated let me copy this and paste here let me put the june 19 now let me open this data now let me put instead of may june now let me take this equal to rand between okay then i can sorry equal to rand between date of 201961 then date of 2019 630 copy paste special values exactly let me take a different uh, values rand between now this time I want to take equal to rand between 500 to 1500 i want to take little more values access right save and close friends how many files are there now in this folder three files are there now if i refresh the data what excel does excel go to this folder and excel take all these files now excel combine everything one below other now excel apply all the steps and finally get into the pivot table let me refresh so you will have one more column here april may june just take it out are you finding extra column has taken this is the power of the power query okay so it is going to the destination folder it is taking the data it is applying all the steps it, that means it is transforming the data and it is loading back into your excel right you can do anything so automatically it does if anyone having any question on this please let me know Till now, am I clear? I hope you're getting the point exactly what the Power Query does. Friends, this is entirely a very advanced concept. In fact, uh, I may start one batch on the Power Query exclusively for uh, 15 hours to 20 hour session, maybe at least for five days, uh, five to seven days, because n number of case studies you can solve. Okay, now let me, because it's again uh, vast syllabus, it is like our exactly our excel let me show you how beautifully this works now i i whenever i get time generally i do a lot of r d uh, with excel i'm sorry just give me one sec i do a lot of r d i prepare my own data uh, for my purpose i do 
lot of power query related assignments and including uh, for my office let me show you something these all which i prepared for one or other case which are helpful for me and when recently when we started filing income tax return so i i file many cases the esops cases where they uh, are having esops and they sold the they, they sold the stock in the during the year then lot of capital gain related provision supply and uh, the concept is entirely different so i file most of the cases many files from microsoft uh, cognizant salesforce company and lot of people in those cases i found there is a serious challenge for my staff because in couple of cases where they vested the shares uh, uh, hundreds of times during last 20 years uh, every two months one time and th third month one time and so on then uh, our people need to get the uh, exchange rate as on the date for a particular client uh, uh, we have seen at uh, 45 different dates he has vested the shares uh, he started in the company in 1994 and from since then he vested the shares okay 40 to 50 times so that point of time what is the uh, currency we should capture and rbi website provides the currency but we generally take from the xe website xe is the xe.com is the place where you can find throughout the world uh, currency exchange rates this is what most uh, uh, reliable and secured so but uh, um, uh, for all those 40 days currency Okay, it need not be always USD. In some of the companies, the Salesforce is there. Okay, they are having a currency of something Euro, and some other company they are having a uh, uh, some other currency is there. In those cases, how to get the data? Our people used to spend a lot of time. They copy the date and paste into the XE website and so on. Now, I I made this is exactly coming from the Power Query. Okay, I made for example, I want to have the currency as on let's say fourth. December 2019 just two days back okay once I click this this link comes automatically I have written a small function we have covered all these functions this is what the link then join with this then date please convert into this format I think text function also have covered automatically it came now what Excel does it takes this entire data into my power query I have to see when I updated this so it is just trying to give me a cash and share and it's taking from the external website are you fine use anonymous access for this web content no problem please connect <coughs> because i told you power query is even capable of uh, taking from external data right that can be even from the web now let me save because i opened this long back four or five months back i'm just trying to see see are you finding running background query if you look into my taskbar so it is just running all the steps because first time it is connecting it is taking little time next time onwards it will not take this much time yeah great are you finding it exactly now if i have the bunch of data maybe equal to random between i can take from date of 2010 one one then date of 31st no 31st December 2000 sorry 2018 12 31st then if I refresh this data copy paste special values now if I go on refresh boom you'll find all the items uh, one below other so if my staff is having so it, what it is doing let me show you the steps it is going to the XE website Let me go here it, it will take the data because it's doing so many steps it looks like a very simple thing okay what happened xc.com that's right something went wrong today for the ah, yeah yeah so in that let's go to let's take it out our excel yeah see are you finding it now let me show you the steps what it is doing okay where is the yeah let me just copy paste this you'll get it now let me copy this now let me paste this okay this is what the current and historic tables what it is doing is now is there any currency and historic tables yeah historical currency rates right 
Now, what Excel is doing, Excel is giving that name. When I asked Excel to take yesterday's one, if you take it 4th December, 4th December, what it is doing, it is replacing four year and it is running. But here the very important thing is the heading is standard, the URL is standard. So if the URL is standard, it is going here and it is taking wherever INR is. Let me take what I have taken here, US dollar, right? So I need to check the exchange currency INR. Excel is also doing this activity. INR, where it is? Hey. Yeah, let me take, go up. Yeah. So this is the value. It is picking up 71.50 absolutely with accuracy. Now, when I ask Excel to other date, it is going to that date and so on, right? Now, let us try to look what I have done. You may not understand a couple of query because even there is a coding is required here. Now, let me go to uh, query and connections. Now, this is what my final thing. Now, let me double click. That will take you to Power Query. Let's go to Edit. <clears throat> Now it is taking you into the Power Query. It is taking the source. Then I'm, it has changed the type. Then I added one more column for which, okay, I have written a small function at the back end. Then this is what I numbered. Actually, if you look here, you'll find all the currencies which are coming from that web source. Okay, then I expanded all those columns. Then I have removed unnecessary columns which are not required. Then I changed the type again. Then I loaded back into my Excel. And I have used this function of the parameter also. I invoked a function here. So if you want to see this uh, entire formula, this is what the formula at the back end, right? So it's taking from the table one. Then it is taking the source, then date and time. And this is a URL. This is very important, okay? then these all other steps it is writing right so n number of things you can make it let me just close this and so you can build small small things no problem okay but you should have little understanding so as i told you initially you start combining the data you start joining the data then you can uh, get it more now friends that is what the combining the data now let me take something more useful join the queries you can even join right it is exactly like our vlookup function i can simply take combine and join right so this is what example sales data example case study sales data now let me look into the join part. Let's say I'll take a small, small examples. I'll take the same case of our uh, lookup functions uh, case studies. We'll take Yeah, we'll take this case study. This is what my master data. Now I want to get this as a result. Right? Now for this data, I want I want Excel has to look for these values and it should give me the answers, right? Now let me fail. This concept Excel is calling as a table. So uh, join. So you have to first uh, uh, take this data into my table. Let me just click OK. No problem. Let me close and load back. You need not to let me this take as a destination table or else left to table. So that Okay, that means this is what the values you want. Now, let me close and load the two. 
now only create as a connection i don't want excel to get the data back into my excel let me just close this now let me select this and let me have this also uh, let's go to the data and i want it as to take into the power query no problem let it take it now i don't want to do anything except uh, let me go back and let me rename this as right column rls master data so i can simply close and load to oh, yes close and load to that's right only create connection so let me click okay no problem now what i can do i can simply go here now let me less zoom less so that you can understand okay now i just go to the data i'll go to get data i'll combine the data there are two things in the combine one is merge the other one is append in this case i want to merge so the merge is the concept exactly like joining select the tables and matching the columns to create the merge table so i want to take the left column there are four queries here you must select very carefully so that's the reason instead of keeping the uh, default table names i am keeping my own name so left column i want to join with the uh, where is that master data right so the common thing is in this data this one in this data this one friends you can join remember you can merge the data by using six type of different joins let me explain you what are these six first okay let me take here let me put the correct wording actually combine queries are three types append data appending data is one below other basically the meaning is keeping the data one below other then the other one is merge the data merge the queries merge queries means it is like looking for a column in the in from first table and extracting and looking for the columns looking for the same columns from two tables and merging the data okay this is almost like our vlookup function this concept we call it as a joining so this concept we call it as a joining join is six types actually eight types but advanced data analytics are eight types in our excel it is six types basically so what is this there are concepts left out of join friends these all are data analytics concepts okay definitely in one day you cannot understand everything but just for the benefit of the members who are in my batch i'm just taking this session though it's not part of my syllabus uh, because once you understand the basic architecture then from today i want you to at least uh, start working with the small small data type maybe down the line in the next six months or one year you will become expert into the power query so left out to join and uh, uh, full out to join right out to join left anti join right anti join inner join and full join okay these all are different types of joining left out to join right out to join left anti right anti now let me explain you what happened left out to join means all values from left will come left table right out to join means all values from right table left anti join means only okay from left table available in right table 
right anti join means only from right table available in left table inner join means available in both the tables full join means all records from all the tables from both the tables you will get to know with the different examples don't confuse our vlookup function is exactly this this is what the vlookup function what i am trying to do in this case study if you observe i am taking this column my final result i want only this column i don't want access values which are here right i want for each column it has allocated a value from this now let's go here but let me go to get and transform combine queries let me merge the queries <clears throat> let me merge the queries let me take left table now this column i want to join with the left column uh, product id here now left out a join all from the first matching from second so i want to take my final result will have only these values but which are matching with this right or else this will give you okay everything from the year okay if it is not matching then you are going to get null nothing will be there okay now let us look into other things right out of join means all comes from the right table matching from the first table full out of join means all rows from both inner join means only matching rows this is what i covered only rows only in the first right anti join and so on now what i'll be doing let me click okay once you start making different examples you will get to know what exactly i'm talking about okay now because i want everything from the left table right that's the reason every value is there but with respect to this it is trying to take the table from the second one so i want every value should come from this except the product id because product id is already there here because it's only giving me the matching related let me take it no problem you can understand see product 20 is not there so i got the null it's not a vlookup function to get the not available null is basically an indication that it's not there and product 6 is from uh, next table this is also from the second table this is also from the second table i don't want this column to appear right so i'll just right click i'll just remove now wherever null is there i want to replace replace the values wherever null is there you can just select these two replace values null not in the table straight out now this is what the transformation is going to happen now let me close and load two I want to get this data where just for the uh, understanding let me go to join I want to get here itself so that we can check it out Oops. check it out exactly now what happened if I let me just take this out if I make it instead of 11 now let's say it is 14 if it is 14 technology copy copier and fax right so now let me make it this 14 now let me refresh now just check it out this change the feed it has changed automatically so i need not to write a vlookup function i need not to bother whether it's in the left column or right column or n number of things that is what the power of power query okay so it is transforming the data next time i just need to refresh that's all when the data updated it does update automatically with just click a button right now for example 20 instead of 20 i'm making this as a 4 instead of 17 i'm making this as 25 so let me refresh this data see automatically if you want one more step i want this should come based on the ascending or descending order no problem you can simply go here you can go to the merge columns right so once you go yeah, this what the this one edit uh, 
now let me keep this name as a left outer john okay i want to have one more step this has to be sorted in a proper uh, ascending order now let me just keep a to z oops z to a oh because it's an ascending order because okay fine because anyway it's not a number or else can we do one thing even you can split this into different uh, columns right for example i want to split this table into product and uh, number separately and so on you can do that you can do n number of transformations now i want to keep these two i want to convert into a proper case now let me just transform this into the uh, capitalize each word now this one let it be now let's go and close and load this changes automatically everything now it's a proper case right now if i put something product underscore 10 this 10 is part of my data now which is in the proper case just check it out here yeah okay friends uh, just will take quick three to four minutes break then we'll go into the next topic in the power query okay i hope you all are following me today is one of the most important topic out of the topics which we are covering right so let us quick take for four minutes break and we'll come back friends this is the way we can create n number of queries into our excel okay whenever you have time start spending the time with the power query and i'm sure you can get it right so let me say this wording so let me quickly take from yeah let's find to have an exact wording so I want to just capture this as a screenshot. Just give me one sec. Because I don't want this. Yeah. So control C. because the wording should not go wrong absolutely <clears throat> okay now let us look into one of the very important case study which i would like to present today that is one of the e-commerce company example this is what all sales this also done right Friends, are you finding Yeah. Yep, are you finding one uh, folder names uh, advanced pivot table e-commerce files I'll be sending you today and this one I'm going to work today. Now, this is a different example. First have a glance. For taking some e-commerce data from online in the public source this table we have are the customer dimension so customer table is there having customer name customer province customer region customer segment customer id and so on let me save and close now this table is a fact table generally at the back end when they are designing the tabular format when they are designing the tables okay now uh, the names you should understand in the names whenever i say the dimension that means it's having a primary key factual data is always having the transactions right if you go to any e-commerce company whatever the transactions which are happening today it's a factual data it's a facts right so it is having the foreign key we'll try to understand the meaning of foreign can this one Friends, but very quickly, let me just um, because I have changed a couple of values to a different numbers. Now, this one, let's make it 12. 
because I don't want this much bigger number. Save it and close it. Now, this is the order dimension. It's having order ID, order date, order priority, and so on. Third table is product dimension table. It's having product ID, product category, and product subcategory. And at the back end, it's a shipping dimension table. So it's having shipping ID, shipping mode, and shipping date, and so on, right? Now, the information which is available in one table is not in the other table. Now, let me put this into analyze e commerce data. From this, if I ask you the question, how much sales in the province or maybe in the segment of a small business done? sales is there in this market fact data okay sales is this column sales is this column customer id is this but customer segment is available where customer segment is available in this table if i want to do this generally what i need to do i have to write a small vlookup function here for the customer segment i should get the data from that table and I should paste I should write the vehicle function I should get the customer uh, segment here then I should make a pivot table for the customer segment then segment wise sales will come then immediately if I ask the question customer region wise then I should write a one more vehicle function for the reason wise if I ask you customer province wise one more vehicle function if I ask you order priority wise if I want to have a profit then order based on this order ID and also the order ID which is here okay I should write a vlookup function I should get the order priority because order priority is not part here right if that is the case how many vlookup functions I need to write I'm having thousands of columns let's say generally if you go to uh, any Flipkart or Amazon or Snapdeal any of the e-commerce company at the back end when you look into their database structure their database may be having thousands of tables but the system is capable of getting the data picking up the data from one table and linking to the other table and getting the relevant information from the other table and so on it happens within fraction of seconds of course they are using a great infrastructure and great servers so that's the reason it is happening but my question here in excel we have a vlookup function is there any okay uh, a simple thing which we can do the entire job of course yes that is what the concept of the relationships introduced in 2013 excel relationships introduced in 2013 version right that means we can relate one table with the other table considering the primary key and foreign key what is the meaning of primary key primary key is the unique field in the table if you observe in the customer dimension table customer id in our case study customer underscore dimension table is having customer underscore id is the primary key which is unique you will not find a duplicate in the customer id in the order underscore dimension table is having order id is the primary key okay in the product id product underscore dimension table is having prod underscore id product id is the primary key then finally ship underscore dimension shipping underscore dimension table is having ship id is the primary key. 
foreign key means foreign key can be found in the factual table okay which can repeat an id can repeat if the customer does the transaction 10 times obviously customer id will come 10 times with a different order id maybe okay maybe the same product he can buy so product id also will come automatically so this is what the meaning of okay <coughs> primary key foreign key and so on once we relate one table foreign key primary key with the other table primary key or foreign key at the back end both tables will be combined and a big virtual table happens right at the back end a big virtual table will happen when both the tables together now what i'll do we'll try to take this concept with proper example okay so i'll just go to the power query french very important concept please try to have a look i'll go to the data let's go to the power query this time i want to get the data from text file or csv file let me take it from the text file so it's batch 9 advanced pivot table customer dimension so this what my data excel is just asking sharon is the data fine is the data appearing fine but no if you please correct the table spell this is a fine cust cust diamond okay you're saying in the in this is it oh this is what it's okay but okay don't worry you're talking about here so broad underscore dimension last line at the back and both tables will be combined and a big virtual okay sorry okay no problem so let's go here so let me get the data from text file and customer dimension now excel is trying to look since it is a csv or text file sharon i identified that comma is a separated value or if you are having something different you can select it but by default it's a comma it identified but there's a problem with this data because it has not identified the headings automatically so what i need to do i have to transform this data first now if i go and transform this data now there are many things so you are you finding there is an option here you can just click this or else go to the transform or else are you finding use the first row as the header let me click this use the first row as the header this is correct right let me select this automatically it has promoted to headers one more step got added now what i want to do i want to close and load two only as a connection but i want to add this into the data model data model is basically uh, some of the tables uh, which are connected now let me quickly go to the data tab let let it come because it's having 1000 records now i want to get the data from second table very quickly let's take the market fact data and this time it has identified the headers properly so it has identified properly now i need not to transform if you want you can transform otherwise there's no meaning of transformation here because everything is fine now next load to i want to load to as a only connection i don't want to get the data into my excel i want to add this into the data model let me click ok almost 8000 plus records will be loaded here now let's go here let's go to the third one order dimension excel recognizes the headers properly okay again nothing to be done here so let me go and load to directly now only as a connection add this into the data model let me click okay 
now let's go here file text i want to take the fourth one product dimension now it is having a problem because header has not identified properly so what i need to do i can transform once you go to transform then are you finding there's an option here use first as the header so or else you can click here use first as the header now let me close and load it too i want to get as a connection add this into the data model click ok and the last table that says shipping table i'm sorry i'm sorry i have taken wrong go here get the data from text file which is the last one shipping dimension now everything is fine in this case let me load two wonderful now at the back end all five tables got connected i did not say i got the data but i just connected whenever it is required it will retry now great now what i'll be doing i'll just go to insert i'll ask excel to give me the pivot table now excel is by default taking do you remember i think in the last session when i was talking about the pivot table i told you till 2010 version these are the two only you have from 2013 you have this because 2013 onwards there's a concept of relationships because of that this is here now if i click okay now it will open a pivot table now let me close this queries because it's not required now if you observe generally pivot tables we have the fields right but here if you observe it is like a server icon right so once you click it in that all items will come now you can ask the question now i want to have customer segment wise then product category wise let's take the product category now or else product subcategory maybe subcategory may come more is it let me take this right product subcategory wise now uh, i want to take the sales data let's take the sales which is there from the market table no problem okay it's going wrong the values i can even understand that but i'll explain you why it is wrong now i want to take ship mode as a slicer let me right click and add this into the slicer and because i told you slicer is the replacement uh, uh, not replacement it is an additional thing along with the filter and now let me take uh, from the order table i think i have not taken anything from the order table let me take the order priority let me add this also into the slicer obviously excel will give you wrong answer because excel doesn't know how each table is linked to the other table you should tell to excel that excel this is the way it has linked one table to the other table so you must understand that they uh, you have to link the tables now what i'm going to do okay let me just select this and put in the comma format i know the answers are wrong don't look into that because as of now excel doesn't know how each tables are related now let me go to the data tab or else you can go to the pivot table analyze are you finding relationships here let me click this now this is what where i can put the relation go to the new and i want market fact table because which is having a foreign key as i told you foreign key means where your uh, primary can repeat customer id because customer id can repeat over there and i want to take from the customer dimension customer id let me just click okay now because this table got changed automatically your numbers got changed with respect to each consumer and so on because this row is coming from the customer table but this has not still linked to the market table so that's the reason these figures are still same now what i'll be doing i'll just go to uh, new again now i want to link market fact data which is having uh, order sorry 
order ID, then order table. I want to link to order ID. Let me click OK. Wonderful. Now let me take market data which is having product ID. Then product data which is having product ID. Finally, let me take the market data which is having ship ID. Then shipping data which is having ship ID. Wonderful. This is what your final result is. Now just check it out. You can just click the buttons here. This is a dashboard. Okay. Dashboard is nothing but something where you need to do a lot of things. It is basically connecting your server, so many files, and at the end you can get as a result. Now let me click this. Once you click it, it is joining all the tables at the back end and giving you the result. Or else I want to have delivery track, maybe high priority in this way, or else regular and this and so on. You can just play with the data. Okay. Now this is not the one which I'm more interested. The beauty of this entire power query, if you observe the sales, the, the small business is just 27 lakhs, right? Small business sales is 27 lakhs. What I do, I'll go to the back end. I'll just try to see is, what is the customer code of small business. Small business customer. Customer 1827, right? 1827, I'll open the market fact. Customer 1827. CUST underscore 1827. Yep. In that, the sales are making it 99999. Just to make it that this is big. Now, as of now, how much it is? 27 lakhs, right? If I make it another 9 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 37 lakhs, this will change. Or else just to make a difference use, let me put one more nine. Now let me save this data, close this data. So my meaning is when the live data is happening, your server data will get update automatically. Once your server updates automatically, your text file or CSV also will get add with the new line items or maybe edit the existing line items. If that is the case, if I come back this and if I refresh my data, since it is having a connection to that, it changed automatically. Now let me just do control alt and F5. Let me just put this. Check it out. This 27 lakhs. This will change it to 9 crore plus, right? Sorry, 1 crore 27 lakhs approximately. Yep. Check it out. 1 crore 27 lakh 87,000 and so on. This value got changed. Maybe if you go to that table, the, the thing which I have changed maybe belongs to this product category or subcategory. Okay, that is the way we can connect different tables and we can analyze the data. If anyone having any question in understanding this entirely, please let me know. You can connect any number of tables. Okay, so this is what the relationship. See, this is what the power pivot they call. Okay, uh, if are you finding your in the data or else maybe in the pivot table analysis or else in the data itself. Okay, are you finding this? This is nothing but power pivot window. Once you click this, enable the data analysis add-ins for this. I'm just going here. Power pivot is just an extension where we use DAX functions. That's entirely again a different concept. So this is what your power pivot window. Now, if you go to the diagram format, this is what the tables related to each other. See, check it out. See, instead of you making it, it even you can take tables like this and you can make it. You can see basically if you observe this what one table, this is what my other table and this is what my shipping table. This is a diagram format. Now this is what my shipping table. This is what my order table and where is the customer table? This is what my customer table. Right, this is the way it's happening. Now, this is just the diagram format. If someone comes new and you want to understand how each table is connected to the other table, then probably he can just look into this. Okay, so this can give a glance. So, 
the data analysts what they do they don't initially directly go and analyze the data they try to understand at the back end how each table is connected so that based on the business objective we'll get to know what data we need to take and from which table okay this is what the data view so you can find the data this is the tabs friends this is the place where we can write the dax functions again dax function is a, a dax formulas are different language altogether like our m formulas and uh, power bi is also exactly having the same thing right see this what a market fact and the beauty of this is though your uh, worksheet is having 1 million records as a uh, limit but your power pivot can feed millions of records at the back end okay it don't really look into how much large the data it is okay now let me just close this you can if you want you can connect this data with other sql servers uh, and so on right so you can make the pivot table directly from here and so on this is anyway entirely a different concept but how when there is a model through the model if you are making pivot table and if you want to use any dax functions then power pivot is the one which is helpful right if anyone having any question i think i have covered more or less the important aspects of power query because this is what the future it is so whoever saying in the market that excel is a small tool it's not a small tool it's not a small tool anymore it is much more powerful than our regular data analysis tools which are in the market as i told you on the first day, in the first day session microsoft has challenged the world's market in next 5 years they want to beat all data analytics softwares okay including r including tableau everything will be out because that is a great functionality at the back end they are giving so you start just practicing this data and uh, i'm sure you can get it it's not something very great the major important part in the power query is you must know how to join your tables you must know how to append your tables one below other that's nothing but a combining then you must know how to uh, do the transformation transformation is a very simple thing there are easy clickable buttons are there or else you must know how to write a small m formula m formula is a very big thing so if anyone having any question till here please let me know so i think uh, more or less i have covered with respect to the power query and uh, the introdu introduction to the power tape power pivot so i'll stop the session here so uh, we have one more day and uh, i'll try to find a day maybe on if most of the majority are available on sunday i'll take on sunday if not uh, we'll take some other day for macros and vba that will take 3 hours i'll try to take uh, uh, macros recording very elaborately through which we'll try to see how we can write the program and small small vba codes we can understand but as i told you again it's not one day task because it's a programming so program you cannot learn in one day first you need to understand the basic object model of excel vba then through the object model you should start building so we'll try to see how to automate small small uh, tools in excel through the vba and macros then we'll see how we can take this classes forward that's all so if anyone having any question please let me know and i'll send you all these files today in the zip format so if anyone having any question next session i'll inform in the whatsapp uh, after having the discussion with you all i think as i promised today is actually the 10th day so every day one hour and a half hour one hour 45 minutes uh, more or less it's 40 hours topic i have not missed any topic which is very much important for you all as i said excel may be hundreds hours content but whatever most important is required for us more or less i have covered that's all thank you for thank you all for your support friends uh, as you all know we are starting the batch on 9th uh, december so still we have another 3 to 4 enrollments uh, if uh, this time because we are planning to keep uh, 15 uh, to 20 in between so almost 13 to 14 at, uh, enrollments we have received if you know anyone who are really interested to learn excel so that they can uh, change the way they are working at their offices please refer us as i told you who ever refer from this batch the price will be only 4000 that's all thank you and uh, don't miss the next session whenever i'm going to announce it's just another 2 hour session because i'm going to cover in depth macros how to record and how to run thank you so much have a nice day thank you all and if you have any personal questions please ping me i think vinath you have a question 
Do you have any question? You raised your hand. 